Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. I'm Esther. And I'm Melanie. And today we're joined by Disha Wadup, social media and business coach, and we'll be talking about organic marketing. Hey, Disha. Hello. So, Disha, isn't all marketing organic? No, because sometimes you have to pay for it. (laughs) Good (laughs) point. (laughs) That's one of my big things. Like, people go ahead, there's so many ads people out there at the moment that um, and people think that's what they need to do to, to get sales. Um, but I do think you need to have a good organic base before you build on the sales. So you know what you're, especially if you're new in business, so you know what your clients want and that sort of thing. And then you can build on things with ads and all the other fancy things that you can do. But you pay for organic in a different way, don't you? You pay for organic with time. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But I do teach all of my clients how to make sure they're not wasting time on Facebook (laughs) because that is the big thing. Everyone's like, oh, it just takes me so long. I'm like, yeah, but I bet you're scrolling through the newsfeed and not not doing what you actually went on Facebook to do and you're looking at cat videos or (laughs) what your great auntie did three weekends ago. (laughs) Yeah. Caught, not, caught red-handed, not. caught red-handed. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you make um, organic marketing work? Because, I mean, we're all about marketing here at the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. Yep. Um, so we wanted to specifically speak to you because you're known for, for good organic marketing, Disha. So tell us, how do you do it so, so that I can are, emulate it? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> there are a few things that I make sure that I've done. And organic marketing is primarily based on your my personal profile. So rather than my business page, because we all know that your business page gets diddly squat in terms of organic reach on Facebook. So we may as well just accept that and say, okay, that's fine. Um, and start using your personal profile. And when I say this, I'm not breaking any Facebook terms and conditions. I'm not using my profile just to sell. It is still my personal profile, but I'm making it so that when people stalk me, which people do because, you know, we're humans, (laughs) we're all a little bit voyeurs, we're all nosy. So when I'm in groups and I'm connecting with people and I'm sharing value and people go to my profile to be nosy, which they do, then they can find out how to connect with me that way and on my profile for example my Facebook group looks like it vomited all over my profile oh lovely (laughs) very graphic that's that's a lovely thought for a Monday morning (laughs) (laughs) because I want people to join my my Facebook group and I want that to be the big focus of where I connect with people on on a more deeper and intimate level so they've find my personal profile and then automatically find my group so how do they find your personal profile are you putting up viral stuff or are you doing videos are you going live yeah so um i'm connecting people with friend requests um i'm i only connect with people that i really want to connect with though i'm not just spamming everybody with friend requests and you do get a few fr- freaks and weirdos in your inbox as well you um, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a few marriage proposals. <laughs> Never had one of those now. I'm feeling really left out. <laughs> Not that I'm asking for any. Please don't come stalk me for a fast. <laughs> there you go. They'll be in your inbox now. You've asked. They me. will. <laughs> um, so how long how long would you do your Facebook live tour and what would you talk about? Absolutely anything. So I talk about I try to add value. So my big thing is I want to give people wins that they can put into place and do. Mm-hmm. So I see so many people going into Facebook groups and sharing content that does it just, they just ask questions or they use those pointless template posts that everybody keeps marketing at the moment. It drives me insane. <laughs> so I'm more of, I want to speak directly to my ideal client. So using the words they are using and making sure that my content is giving them specific value and actionable tips. And I get people coming to me being like, oh, your content literally was like you were talking to me. 
Like that's because I, I, be, I ask a question when they enter my group, like if I could grant you one wish in your business, what would it be? And people answer that and I create content off that. So they've literally given me oh. what, what they want in their business and I create the content around that. And they're like, it's like you're in my head. I'm like, well, you did tell me. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not rocket science. I just used what you're already saying. And the same when you're going out into groups, you can see what people, what questions people are asking or what issues people are coming across and then create content specifically for those people. And then um, that way you're elevating yourself as an individual and a brand and getting yourself known. So people tag me and stuff because like, oh, and I have no idea who these people are, but they'll follow me and they'll see my content. So they know I know what I'm talking about. And then they'll tag me and be like, Disha knows her stuff. You should talk to her. <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> Tell us where you're based actually, Disha. Where, whereabouts are you in the world? Manchester. Oh, you're having a lot of fun there at the moment, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> open and I've got a hair appointment tomorrow so I'm not crying about it it's oh, that, that's what? rather good actually that's a lot better than I thought it would be yeah so we have nothing we have no nothing no nah. yeah we're just not allowed to go to the pub for a pint but you can go to the pub for dinner and a pint our pubs are all closed uh, so says so as yeah. yeah it's very anyway strange. <laughs> moving on moving on so coming back so <laughs> after that you, we've we've talked a lot about we've stalked we've talked a lot about um facebook so far do you do anything else do you do twitter instagram linkedin google I my business instagram um i focus on instagram on stories i don't focus a lot on galleries because they just don't seem to get the reach as much anymore Mm. Um, I had a viral uh, reel recently. I saw it. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. She was dancing. Yeah, I have some brave woman dance moves. <laughs> when I dance, I dance like a dad. Yeah, me too. That's the thing that's <laughs> quite went so viral because it was so <laughs> um, um, but but you I were just- celebrating. You were celebrating a win in that uh, video, weren't you? In that reel. So tell us what you were you were celebrating and what you have starting today yeah so I was celebrating people signing up for the challenge that I just ran in my group um the challenge was all around uh the optimizing your personal profile and the three things you need to do before you start organic marketing then you um then the program that is starting today is all about attracting your dream clients using other people's Facebook groups And in this program, we go through making sure that you know, firstly, who your ideal clients are, where they are. Very important. um, Yeah. And looking at them as a whole human, um, which I think people often forget that people have other experiences and, you know, interests outside of their business or whatever it is that you want to sell to them. So looking at them as a whole human and finding out where they are online Mm -hmm. and going to be there. And then creating the, the content to be able to share that everywhere. And when I talk about creating content, I'm not talking about reinventing the wheel all the time, which everyone thinks, oh, I have to sit down and write all my content for the week. Like I just posted in about 15 groups this morning and I posted different content that I wrote for my last time I launched this program uh, a few months ago and a couple of new bits. Um, but I'm always reusing that content because I store it. So I have it an air table and then I can have a look at my launch plan and say, okay, this is the content that I'm going to share for this launch. Um, and I just add new stuff in as I, when I relaunch and then reuse the same, same content. We don't have to recreate the wheel all the time. I was having relevant um, current um, evergreen content is, is the key by the sounds of it. Um, you know, all this content that you deliver on the different platforms, do you do it organically or do you use a third party? Sorry, I had to throw that in. <laughs> <laughs> I do use it organically because at the moment you cannot use any uh, scheduling thing to post in other people's groups unless you are an admin, um, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping Facebook allows that at some point, but I think it might turn it into a very spammy platform. So I, don't I agree. I think yeah. they shouldn't, in fairness. Yeah. 
Um, and so how many groups do you think you should be in to, to make this organic reach? Is there a, a plus or a minus that you should have? I, I tell my clients to have uh, between 10 and 15 groups that they want to be active in. Um, and, and when I say active, I'm not just about spouting content and running. I want people to be actually engaged in those groups and sharing content and commenting back to people and having conversations in those groups um, and doing that in a systematic way so that you're not wasting time. <laughs> like I tell my clients to set timers and I have this, <laughs> yeah, Good idea. I have this rule. I have um, what I call the three, 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 three rule. Oh my God. Where yeah, it's a lot of threes. It's a hell of a lot of threes. Four threes. <laughs> so the first three is to connect with your ideal clients in the content they're sharing on their personal profile. Mm -hmm. um, and that can just be in the comments and that can just be cheerleading. It doesn't have to be business related. It's just being a human. I can just see uh, them with pom-poms now, cheerleading. Yeah. Yay. yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second three is DMing some of your ideal clients. So direct messaging them. And again, it doesn't have to be businessy. It can just be checking in, see how they're doing, what, what's going on in their world. See if you can no help. marriage proposals though. No marriage proposals, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the third three is going into groups and posting content in three different groups. And then the fourth three is engaging three times in each of those groups that you've just posted content in. Um, and I tell my clients they should be able to do this in 30 minutes if they are systemized with it. Um, so turn off your notifications, <laughs> stop looking at the cat videos. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to be really, really specific. And the way I, I like have the newsfeed eradicator plugin on Facebook. So if you, you can plug it into Google Chrome and it eradicates your newsfeed. So I, if I pick up my phone, it's because I'm procrastinating. I'm looking through the newsfeed. <laughs> I'm not doing work. Whereas I strategically go into groups or use my friends lists to have a look at what people are posting that I want to engage in rather than letting Facebook deliver me ads and cat videos and content that's going to make me procrastinate and not. Are we all dog haters here? No. Because we're going on and on about cats here. <laughs> I'm, I'm a cat hater I'm a dog person <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a dog person but have two cats <laughs> I'm a cat person it. but my husband wants dogs <laughs> I mean oh. my dog is as useless as a cat for guarding because he doesn't even get off the sofa if somebody comes in the house <laughs> that's terrible <laughs> yeah. he's only two and a half and he's the laziest dog ever but he knows Aww. how to dance and yes. to figure it out you have to see that you have to go to Disha's uh, Instagram reels to see the dog dancing yes yeah, so ah, I, I, I thought it was you that was dancing it was the dog dancing with her yeah you were dancing with the dog she yeah, was I'm a single lady I taught my dog to dance no judgment <laughs> <laughs> she's in lockdown there yes, are no, yes, there's nowhere yes. to go dancing no, yes <laughs> so so Disha how long have you been in business so I started my business in 2016 and it has been wild. Um, so the uh, 2016, I was in Asia when I launched my business and they, I, I then panicked. I went, ah, crap. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a disaster. Um, I think as all entrepreneurs, we go through those moments where you're like, eh. Um, yep. So I, moved back after five years Ooh. oh no we're all good after five years of um traveling i moved back to england and got a job uh, just after i started my business i was like i don't know if i can do this this is a disaster mm -hmm. um so i started a job and then built my business up on the side and then it got to a point in 2018 where my business income was overtaking my full-time job wow that's um, cool <laughs> yeah and I was a social media manager then and most like I could probably count on one hand how many clients I had in the UK so most of my clients are international and I guess because I was a traveler that's just the clientele that I had attracted um so at that point I 
had to make the decision <laughs> I was going to go full time in my business, um, knowing that my business is already making more money than my full time job. So I was like, okay. Wow. And then, again, it's scary. I just bought a house, like, <laughs> and I, on my own. There was no one else to pay my mortgage if it all failed. So I always say to people when they're making scary decisions, and people ask me all the time, "How do you do these things and know that it will work out?" I'm like I don't, but <laughs> <laughs> you know it's gonna work out. That's pretty plan- much how our podcast started to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I plan for the worst. So I say when I quit, I was like, right, if it all goes tits up and all of my clients leave me, I will if it gets to three months down the line, then I'll get a job. Yeah. Um, but I'd also booked a one-way ferry for three months down the line to go to Spain for a couple of months. So I was like, why not? <laughs> I can't I can't really get a get a job and be in Spain. And I'd rather be in Spain, so I gotta make this book. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. So do you okay, so you try to get your clients to be more into the organic marketing, including their email lists and including uh lots of other things. But do you are you totally against paid ads? Oh, no, not at all. I have run paid ads for my clients. Um, I'm a big advocate of them to add on to organic marketing. Um, But I just think people need to have that base first. And especially this year, for example, so many people have started new businesses and and they worry so much about all of the different things. And and I need to have a video editor to make all of my content look perf- perfect. And I need to have this and I'm like, just get some clients. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just get started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So many people come to me, I'm on all the things and I'm doing everything and I'm everywhere. I'm like, but do you have any clients? Because no. you just have an expensive hobby if you're just doing all these things and you haven't got anybody paying you. Mm. It. No, I've, I've done that before I've taken people off platforms because all they're doing is speaking to the virtual world it's not actually speaking to anybody directly yeah 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 so. yeah I think that's people just get stuck in the mindset and I know I did it when I first started I remember listening to Jenna Kutcher's podcast um and she said she said she wrote uh her email sequences are like a year long oh my god yeah <laughs> what <laughs> sounds horrendous <Yeah. laughs> that that would just be no no yeah. no I'm having nightmares already just thinking about that <laughs> but me being the newbie at the time I was like well I've, Jenna Kutch has got a year-long email series I need an email series that's a year long so I got to writing and my coach was like stop <laughs> did did you have anybody on your email list no <laughs> no okay <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant well, Disha Disha you were telling us you've got this course that started today now I know it's a bit too late for people to learn more about that particular course because it's all fill up but when's your next one so the next one will be starting in February mm-hmm. um so you can join the wait list now anyways and you can get some awesome content from me and join my free group anyway um and go to socialtreats.co.uk slash attract hyphen dream hyphen clients Okay, we'll put that in the link. Yeah, so I think that people, that'll be easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, <laughs> it's too None early of us in the morning. Remember to, that. No. <laughs> but um, Melanie, you have some news for us. Well, I do, and Disha, you're the first person to hear about it, and hopefully, whoever's Ooh. listening to this as well. <laughs> hopefully, it's not you're not the only person. Not the only one. This. <laughs> but do share. Do share yes. news. Um, well, we are now finally sponsored (laughs) yes we we have been sponsored by agora pulse um starting from today um and the the sole reason that you know agora pulse is such a good business to work with is is they can free up five hours of your time a week that's insane isn't it so no more cat videos (laughs) would you stop with the cat videos dog videos (laughs) <laughs> oh, okay yeah whatever um so you know you, you're dealing with meetings and accounts and constant ongoing never-ending inbox i know i certainly am um so we've teamed up with agora pulse and they're going to give us back five hours a week at 
just because they manage our social media marketing so much better. No complicated Excel docs, long emails or millions of open tabs. Simply manage all of your social media channels in one place. But to do that, please visit www.agorapulse.com forward slash Monday Morning Marketing. We need a shorter name. <laughs> we'll put a shortened link we need a short link. <laughs> but this. if you go to that link www.acorapulse.com forward slash monday morning marketing you get one month free yay it's great and uh melanie and i both use agora pulse and we fully advocate it that's why absolutely i'm are... certified on agora pulse, on agora <laughs> well, pulse. well certified in a lot of other things too <laughs> i found it great for uh managing comments on ads yes uh, my client says he runs likes to run very controversial ads so we get a lot of comments Ooh, and- do tell when this finishes <laughs> <laughs> yes we, we we might save this for another podcast but we might not so we might just listen to it ourselves and <laughs> But for today, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Disha, for giving us uh, your time and your knowledge. And we'll be back next week with more. Bye.